Hello everybody, it is I, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to Wasteland 2. So we hooked up a... What is it? A repeater up on the Talon High Pool. I think we gotta go to the Agriculture Center and do that next. We be ballin'. Billy's idea is ballin' is hanging out with no pants. My balls are in the wind! Oh, that's why I smell balls. Showing your, your, your vag! Sick burn! I bet your dick burns and it's sick. Ew. <laughs> Whatever, let's go to the Agricultural Center. Remember, earlier, they asked us for help, but we went and helped Highpool. We went right by them, don't tell them that. And then they sent us an email, an email, the radio message. An email on the radio! Which was like, don't come, dumbass. That's, that's what I've heard during sex too. Ooh, cattle, oh man, that is so cool! The reason that is cool is these little catapult things are in the first wasteland. The balance of nature should not have been trifled with. This sickness comes from the arrogance of people out of tune with the land. Ah, you need to tune nature for it. Nature has been perverted. Shut up, vultures cry. Jeez. So if you play the first wasteland, because I've been recently looking into it, um, they have these at the Agriculture Center. Ooh. A well without any water that is just a hole in the ground. It smells like chemicals. And what do we got going on over here? This truck looks like it could drive through a bunker and keep going. The only thing that stopped it was time. Oh man, it's like Mad Max. Fury Road. This place does not look good. Do not touch her. The plant is coiled to kill her. Um, okay. Some weird Japanese things going on right here. Are you making it with a plant? Is this like how we get evil deads? Hi, lady. Fuck you, rangers. Rude. What the fuck was the point of showing up now? Ag Center is destroyed. The cure is lost. And I'm about to be eaten by a fucking... Tree. Well, you don't have to have an attitude about it. You discovered a cure? For what? We found a cure, but too late. Way too late. Matt was too far gone by then. Everybody was. Rose tried to take a canister of the serum to the nutrient reservoir tanks in the east greenhouse so we could feed it to the plants and stop their growth, but... She didn't make it. A bunch of the pod people blew her to pieces. And now the whole area is completely unreachable. Agriculture Center here, they had made these abnormally large plants, and I guess they went a step too far playing God. Tell us about the serum. Rose and I made up a big batch of the stuff and filled a spray gun with it. We used to spray each other. It was fun. I tried to escape with it so I could come back when I was healed up and wipe out the infection. You just ran. Maybe I don't blame you. But I chased, got chased by the pod people and dropped it somewhere between here and the facility door. There's no cure in Egg Center now. But if you find any other areas that have been infected, you can drop it in their irrigation systems. Just find a big reservoir. Uh, what can you tell me about the Egg Center? Matt built a great thing here. I know you rangers think you're guardians of the future, but we were the ones that were gonna keep everybody from starving. Now it's ruined. It's going to be a hungry future. You were gonna save who now and what? Looks like you failed. Maybe do you want me to leave you alone? <laughs> now we're helping High Pool. When we were helping High Pool, we came as fast as we could. Not fast enough, jerks. God damn it, I thought Ag Center and Ranger Citadel had a deal. Wasn't it? We give you food, you give us protection. Well, you're looking pretty goddamn well fed. But we got our asses handed to us by killer tomatoes for eight hours and not a ranger in sight. 
That's hilarious. That's a reference to the first game, too. And a movie, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. You know, I don't feel so bad that we went and helped Highpool first, because Highpool was being attacked by a gang, and there's some weird, creepy robot underneath that was attacking, too. These guys made their own Killer Tomatoes. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? And Killer Pumpkins, and Killer Fruit Flies. All of a sudden, all our plants started growing out of control, mutating, exploding, attacking my people. It's, it's like they went rapid or something. I feel kind of awkward about asking this. Your people are dead? Matt and Rose and I managed to get to safety, but the researchers and the farmers, I watched them die one by one on the monitors while you butter balls were off circle checking each other. And for some of them, it was even worse. Don't you make fun of my circle jerking time. I need me time. What do you mean worse? You haven't seen them yet? They're wandering all through this jungle. Those were our people, our friends. And now they're, I don't know what they are, pod people. That's a good movie. How do they become pod people? I don't know how it works. Somehow the infection gets into their nervous systems, changes their physiology, and makes them lash out at any uncontaminated people around them. Tell me about this rose lady, or is it like literal rose? Is that why the serum didn't get delivered? Was it a rose in a pot? Go, Rose, go! It's taking its time. Rose? Rose was our best researcher and my mentor. Helped me come up with a cure that stopped the plant mutations from spreading. But she got killed before she could distribute it. What a waste. Uh, Matt Forrestal, is he still alive? Because we gotta talk to him. I think General Vargas told us to. No. Poor bastard got hit by shrapnel from one of those exploding pods. And now he's dead. Maybe if Dr. Larson had disappeared, we could have saved him, but we're too late with the cure. Who is Doc Larson? He was a godsend, is what he was. Not only was he a fine general practitioner and surgeon, he was doing great work in the field of fungal biology. He'd really expanded our areas of research. Now he's gone. We didn't see him again after the madness started. I suppose he's dead somewhere like all the others. Or maybe he sold you out. Should we perhaps try and kill this plant? We're just having a conversation with her. Tell me more about those exploding pods. That sounds exciting. As if the rest of it wasn't enough, the plants also started to explode. Get too close to one of those red pods and bam! You're torn up by shrapnel. And worse, if you're not treated, the fungal spores start growing in your body until you turn into one of those pod people. Ugh. None of you have been hit, I hope. I got it. I don't want to turn into a pod person. No, we haven't been hit. Oh, I suppose that's a good thing. A little karma wouldn't have been so bad. So. I'm really not going to feel so bad when you die, Kathy, because you're a bit of a bitch. I get you had a bad day and all. Find that serum, and you won't have to worry about it. What happened to the plants? We discovered that the plants were going insane because of some contamination in the fertilization system. Rapidly mutating fungal spores. It's probably the old doctor you're talking about. He probably pooped in it. Insane to the plant membrane! Insane! Got no membrane! Rose thought it was deliberate sabotage, but I'm not sure. Oh, maybe I'm right? Whatever it is, all the vegetation started growing out of control and mutating. The insects, too. They're enormous. And listen, this madness may have spread beyond the egg center. Oh, shit. What have you idiots done? You think the infection has spread outside the egg center? One of our researchers, a, a boy named Sue, <laughs> fed some of our pigeons spore-infected seeds and sent them off. 
I saw him on the monitors, but couldn't stop him. If those pigeons shit those seeds in other places, the infection, the infection will spread. The trouble is, I have no idea where the pigeons went. You're just going to have to listen for trouble on your radios. All right, squad. First thing we need is a bunch of little butt plugs for pigeons to stop them shitting out things. And a boy named Sue, I heard a song about him once. If you find the serum, save some for any distress calls you get. You guys fuck things up bad. Why did you have pigeons? We use them as backups when the radio isn't working. They carry messages for us to every community in the wastes. Only now, I I'm afraid they aren't carrying death. This is going to be a literal shitstorm, a pigeon shitstorm of epic proportions. Every community in the waste? Please don't send one back to, um, Citadel. Hey, you got an opinion on a boy named Sue? An odd duck, that boy. And not just because of his name. We hired him on because of his passion and enthusiasm. But he... he was... Very young and a bit sloppy in his methods. I'm afraid it's killed him and maybe more than him. I want to give him too much shit. Oh, pigeon shit. Because it sounds like the other doctor was the one who set this all up. Any insight on these insects? There must be giant insects. I saw a fruit fly as big as a bald eagle. It had a stinger like a fucking scimitar. Oh, great. You think someone from Egg Center was behind this? I hope not. I, I don't want to think that anyone here would do this. We're a happy family. We all want the same thing. To make the wasteland green again. We're a happy family. We're a happy family. We're a happy family. Me, mom, and daddy. Would you please stop? Sitting here in Queen, eating refried beans, dumping down Thorazine. I think I got the lyrics wrong. Uh, I just want to be sedated, Vag. Wait, uh, sorry, um, uh, we're doing our job, ma'am, answering your distress call. Huh, well, you might as well stay home. We've gone from distress to deceased, thanks to you slow poke assholes. Everybody's dead. Matt. Rose, all of them, and I'm next. Why don't we save you? I don't see the plant in you, unless it's in your butthole, and if so, don't tell me about it. You don't have to be next. We can cut you out, girl. No, stay back. The vines twitch if you hit them. Cut them, and they'll crush me like an egg. Just leave me. Find the serum Rose and I made. Hack Center is lost. You, you might be able to save our outlying areas that got infected and yourselves if you get blasted by an exploding pod go on go find the canister of serum kill these damn plants oh god it's contracting again my ribs fuck Well, sorry that you died. God damn it. These people are... Oh, shit. There's giant... I don't think he's supposed to have that pink thing. There's giant killer bugs here and exploding pods. I would just leave right now if it weren't for the fact that other communities have apparently been infected. So let's get the jump on these creeps. We don't have Vulture's Cry. Come up here. Because she's got a... She's got a sniper rifle. See how good she is. Hit that maggot. Oh, she killed her! Nice shot! Uh, Chrissy... Oh man, Chrissy's injured! Shit! Why don't you go right here? Oh, there's no cover there. I'm really worried about all this gunk. I guess go right there and ambush? Oh, shit, Angela Watch don't it. got it. Oh, what the hell Looks was like that? Looks like triggered by sudden movement. 
Oh, that's one of the pods like up there, so if we get too close, they're gonna jizz all over us. Angela Death? She's in the first game too. Put her in ambush. Ooh, nice shot, Chrissy! No! Oh! So we know there's a pod right there. We want to be careful about getting that close. I want Billy ambush because outside of his range. That's going to make Devo kind of useless here because he's all about the melee. He doesn't even have a long distance weapon. Let's just have him wait there. Ew, yuck! <laughs> Alright, vultures cry. Oh, fucking turd! Chrissy? No, that's Vag. Mighty Vag from downtown. Oh, didn't kill it, but it was a nice shot. Oh, we're gonna move you back here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! That's alright. Ambush from there. Angela, can you finish this thing off? <clears throat> I don't know if the bugs can infect you or not. Ooh, nice shot! Oh, he's still alive, though. You do it, Devo! Oh, god damn it! Squish that bug! So what's that? Larva extra Oh, great. Bug poop. Some fly legs. Some th we gotta look weird if somebody walks up on us. I better get those legs. I, I need those. I'm gonna need those for later. Chrissy, we'll have you heal yourself up. I think she came into this injured. How do we trigger these things? Wait, can we get something from it? Pod fragment. I don't know what we're gonna do that. How do we trigger these things without getting us ourselves all messed up? Uh... Oh, I think it's gonna go. You can see it glowing there for a second. Come on, get excited and go off! Run! Woohoo! <laughs> Let's wait a second for that dissipate. Oh, there's another one down here. Get them all worked up. Oh, I'm a delicious human. Don't that excite you, boo! Oh, it was almost there too. We're just being a little plant tease. Oh, damn it, they got him! Fuck! Fungal spore is festering under your skin, changing you from the inside out. Oh, shit. I think he's gonna turn into a pod person if we don't find that serum. Ass. All right, Diva, you might as well just set the rest. No, 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 not everybody! <laughs> Devo, you might as well set the rest of these off. You're horribly infected. Yoink. Gigantic! The head of this cabbage would wear a size 99 hat. Oh, look at those giant cabbages. And it's still growing! Enormous! If one of these fell on you, you'd be all black and purple. I think those are eggplants. Stupendous! A rabbit's wet dream! Ginormous! The spines of these yucca plants are stretching towards you like they want to impale you. Ooh, that's not nice. Oh, they were pumpkins. They were talking about killer pumpkins. Hello! Oh, there's a giant propane tank. The steam from this tank smells like mildew. 
Well, I say propane, or it could be. A, oh, oh, god damn it! Chrissy just got gooped on. Shit, I didn't see that one there. <laughs> oh, can we go in here? This might be the area that they said was blocked off because of uh, something collapsing. Oh no, they can't. Um, somebody can safe crack it. Devo and what's your face? Chrissy are all infected. <laughs> Billy's like, yeah, 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 we can take care of that poor, spore, uh, poor thing, spore thing later. Let's see if we can get some loot first. What do we got? Short barrel, we don't care about that. Ship in a bottle, plus one to mechanical repair, and some 38 ammo. He uses 38 ammo. Getting run over by this thing would be a harrowing experience. What is it? Oh, it's part of a combine. Uh, Chrissy, while you're here, you might as well set the other one off. Oh, sex of plants, you like me? I'm delicious. Oh, that's a nice lady right there. Isn't that how you know you have a great team leader? Take one for the team! Oops, what did I do? That's not the right button. Oh, that does not look good right there. That's the pod person. That's what Devo's gonna look like if we don't do something. The shack smells distinctly of a terrified farmer. Hello? Immense! It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and it's getting greater every second. Papers in this basket are from before the apocalypse. How is it possible they've lasted that long? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a fat, dirty lady. I'm with Bernice. Sorry, we're going to have a... Uh, Vag, you got a... Sniper rifle, take her out. Oh, God. Everybody shot her to pieces. Or him. Take a knee. That'll make you more accurate. Yes. Can you shoot the pods? Oh, that's all I had to do was shoot the stupid pods. I feel like an idiot. Uh, Angela, why don't you get an ambush because that thing's just out of your range. We need to get a better sniper rifle for Vag that shoots farther. Her sniper rifle is not very good when it comes to range. Vulture's Cry has one that's decent for range downfield. Not the Vag. All right, Billy, get up there and blast that thing. Feel lucky, punk. Bug, do you? Stop bugging me. Ah, oh, fuck. Run away like a man. Diva, go smash that thing. We're really good exterminators. Oh, yes. Oh, please leave me alone, pod person. Is that your pet? I'm sorry. Stupendous, the cord is high, as high as an elephant's eye. So Vulture's Cry, you can see, can shoot... Well, not that far, but over here. Oh, nice shot. She needs more AP, though. Her gun takes almost all of her AP. We gotta get enough AP so she can at least, like, crouch and use her gun. Alright, Vaj, take a knee because your gun's not very good. Oh, she needs six for ambush. Boop. Everybody just ambush. The pod is coming towards us anyway. What are you looking at, Billy? Turn around! Right there, Devo. Challenge her. Oh, that was not. So and they shot Devo. At least Devo's ambush worked better. Ah, right, Chrissy, boom! She got this crappy rust bucket of an assault rifle. Angela, you're the bomb. Oh. Oh, and she's got to reload. Take a knee. All right, Vag. Finish this thing off. Oh, poor Devo. Covered in pod person blood. Covered in pod spores. Yoink. 
We'll take these. Oh, what are we taking from the infected pus sack? Oh, <coughs> gross. Well, that's a, that's a nice pus sack, you know, right there. Better take it with us just in case. Uh, everybody reload. And who's got the most ammo? Probably Billy. Nobody else uses 38 ammo like he does. Oh, didn't mean to waste four bullets on that. Oh, run, Billy! <laughs> I didn't see that one until it was almost too late. Yoink! These plants seem good. We should be able to use those still. <clears throat> we own eggs now. All right, let's take a step inside and see what's going on. What's going on? Where are you, you bastards? <coughs> What's up, Doc? It's taking you so long. Hi. Seriously, there's no way this guy should be alive. He's riddled with gunshots. There's more blood outside of him than inside. You don't know what's keeping him conscious. Please help me. The insects attacked me. I need medical attention. My chest, you must close my wounds. You expecting us? I was afraid you weren't coming. Uh, I'm just glad you got here. If uh, at last, it would all have been for nothing if you hadn't come. What do you mean all? That's a, we gotta use smart ass there because he got the smart ass skill. Uh, nothing. I mean, uh, nothing clearly helped me. That doesn't sound like nothing. Say what you mean, or we don't fix you, bitch. Damn you! All right, I'm the one who sab sab sabotaged this place. I'm the one who developed the mutant spores and put them in the irrigation system, and I did it because the mechanical monk said it would bring the rangers and then I could kill them! Oh, I don't feel good. Uh, I wonder if he was one of the guys we've been listening to the radio. I think the monk thing sounds familiar with the radio broadcast. Why do you want to kill the rangers, dipshit? I'm taking you with me, rangers! Chrissy! 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 Don't... Please stop. That's our medic. You wanted us to heal you? That ain't gonna happen now. Oh, no. Definitely not hand grenade at that range. You know what, Chrissy? Just get out of there. And can you heal yourself, too? Alright, and then get as far away as possible. There you go, Angela. Teach him a lesson. Oh, shit. He gets to go again right after that. Oh, Billy! Billy Balls! That should be his name. Why did it take me this long to come up with it? Billy Balls is not happy about that. You wanna play a little pistol tag? Tag, yo, it! Devil batter up! Oh man, I can't wait for baseball season. Alright, Vatch, stuff him. Oh, nice shot. Oh, we won't. Oh, she can't take a knee. Why can't she take a knee? That's 2 AP. Maybe because. Oh, wait, she's already on cover, that's why. What the fuck? Oh my what god. What's that about? I don't know, Angela. I would love to know. God, this place is a mess. Holy history of the egg center. Uh, ooh, a nudie mag. Billy's looking around. Nobody's gonna notice this. It might be covered in little blood, but it's still good. We're gonna take this leather jacket. This is armor of a sort. We're gonna give it to Chrissy because Chrissy is our medic. We don't want our medic going down. Plus, she's kind of... Oh, there's her spore infection. That's great. Um, a 38 is not better than the Makarov we've got. Let's try and take it apart. 50% chance we get a sturdy mag for it. And he breaks it. God damn it. What about this one? Can we strip this one for parts? Oh, he got an open choke. What can we use that on? 
just on shotguns. We don't use shotguns, so that's pretty useless. So I think I'm going to read the history of the Egg Center. That will be the rest of this video. So if you're not interested in hearing the history of the Egg Center, feel free to just jump ahead to the next video whenever it's out. Otherwise, we will read this, and then next time we will do the rest of the Egg Center stuff. History of the Egg Center by Matt Forrestal. I reckon now that we're getting settled in and the place is starting to run itself. This is as good a time as any to put down what I've learned about the Egg Center in my few years here. I can't say this is a full history or anything, but if I don't write it down, I don't know who will. The Agricultural Center didn't start as an Agricultural Center. Before the war, it was a satellite relay facility used by the military, though heck if I know what exactly for. The place was secret enough not to be hit when the bombs fell, and the old satellite dish still stands intact. We'll have to check that out. From the records I found in the old filing cabinets, it seems that after the end, the soldiers and researchers stationed here joined up with the nearby farmers at the agricultural station who had also survived the war relatively unscathed. The farmer's knowledge of planting and husbandry, don't you marry that tomato, it's a whore, combined with the researchers' organizational skills and the soldiers' tactical training, soon made egg culture one of the most thriving communities in the wastes. History continued, but then things got a little weird. Erie, Indiana. Or was it Pennsylvania? I think it was Indiana. The fallout from the bombs was changing the wasteland in many ways. Oh, it was hitting wasteland puberty. And Egg Center was no exception. Kathy tells me that the early farmers could have tried countering the mutations that were affecting the plants with selective breeding. But instead, they decided to ride the wave of weirdness. Woo, dude! Selecting for bigger and harder mutations, oh, hardier mutations, sorry, to get better yields, which is how we've come to the tomatoes the size of cantaloupes, and cantaloupes the size of beer barrels. How big are the beer barrels, though? For most of its existence, the Egg Center was led by an old farmer everybody called the Old Man, though his real name might have been Miguel. Yeah, the Old Man is in the previous game. He must have been a hundred... When Vagus, Thrasher, Angela, and Hellraiser came a-calling, fresh-faced and eager to help. And that's in the previous game. General Vargas, the guy who's giving us the orders, and Angela, who's with us. But why did Egg Center need help? Well, mutations ain't just all roses and giant carrots. Around that time, the center was invaded by hordes of giant rabbits, who were just as happy and hoppy, eating people as they were the crops. It was a serious problem made worse by the attacks being seemingly coordinated by some crazy old coot called Harry the Bunny Master. I swear to God I'm not making this up. It wasn't pretty, but the Rangers took care of Harry and drove him off enough or and drove off enough of the rabbits to allow Miguel and his men to take back control of the facility. It was the dawn of a bright new era for the Egg Center, but sad to say, Miguel didn't get to see it. Not too long after Vargas and co. moved on, the old man disappeared! Lots of wild theories out there about how and why. Some say he was taken away by the vegetable spirits. Yeah, I hate when my friends have that happen. No, don't you go with the pumpkins! Others claim he was eaten by a carnivorous strawberry. I think he just wandered off with his goals accomplished. I would have liked to have met him, though. Seems like he was my kind of guy. Old. Without him, Egg Center was doing okay, but it was lacking the leadership to really put all noses in the same direction. Brilliant, though a lot of the scientists here are. They're not the most pragmatic sort. So one day, a few years into my stint with the Desert Rangers, I found my thoughts turning to the Egg Center while recuperating from a bullet wound and started thinking what a great blessing to the waste the old place could be if it was run right. Matt's like, hmm. I know how to run it right. They're like, Billy, what's what's this all about? Yeah, this is, oh, oh, sorry. Wait, boy, boy. It's got a lady on the front, so it's okay. <laughs> it's okay if you like dudes, too. I don't care. But Billy likes the ladies. <laughs> I hauled myself here. We're back to reading the story. I hauled myself here as soon as I recovered, and I've been here ever since. I hope I've done more good than bad since. At least the place is more secure now than when I arrived. We And we have trading deals in place with High Pool and the Rail Nomads. We haven't met the Rail Nomads yet. We obviously saved High Pool. Which puts us and many of the other communities around us in a better position as far as food and water are concerned. Trade and community supporting one another has been one of the hardest things to nail down since the war. And you can see how much everybody benefits. 
When we get water from High Pool, transportation from the Rail Nomads, and they all get food from us, as do many others. Oh, they do. Whatever. Now if we can just keep it all stable, Arizona will really start going places. As for the Egg Center, it's maybe still a bit more of a hodgepodge than I'd hoped. We're still more a group of strangers working together than a true community. But with the oddball minds I have to work here, I swear if Honeydew... Dr. Honeydew? <laughs> Starts on me about his melons one more time. I guess it's the best we can do. And heck, it's pretty good. Well, everybody, that's it for this episode. What a bloody mess. Take it easy, everybody. Oh, we gotta get these spores cured. See you next time.